Good evening and welcome to the December 3rd, 2012 elections for chair and vice chair of the Prince George's County Board of Education. Pursuant to board bylaw number 9361 and in accordance with the annotated Code of Virginia Education Article, Maryland, sorry, Code of Maryland Education Article Section 31004, this is the first Monday in December and the date required by law for the Board of Education to elect a chair and vice chair from among its members to serve for a one-year term effective December 3rd, 2012 through December 2nd, 2013. Nominations are now in order for the office of chair of the Prince George's County Board of Education. Are there any nominations for that office? Yes, I would like to nominate Ms. Jacobs as chair for Prince George's County Public School Second. Board of Education. Second. Are there any further nominations? Hearing none, nominations are closed. It has been properly moved and second that Ms. Virginia Jacobs serve as chair of the Prince George's County Board of Education from December 3rd, 2012 through December 2nd, 2013. Ms. Jackson, please call the roll to elect Ms. Virginia Jacobs. Ms. Beck, aye. Ms. Boston, aye. Mr. Barrows, aye. Ms. Epps, aye. Ms. Eubanks, aye. Ms. Fellows, aye. Ms. Waller, aye. Ms. Amid, no. Ms. Higgins, aye. Ms. Jacobs, aye. Motion passed. Thank you. Okay, the result of the vote is nine ayes and one nay. Nominations are now in order for the Office of Vice Chair of the Prince George's County Board of Education. Are there any nominations for that office? Uh, Mr. Interim Superintendent, I would like to enthusiastically uh, nominate Ms. Carolyn Boston for the position of Vice Chair. I second that motion. Are there any further nominations? Hearing none, nominations are closed. It has been properly moved and seconded that Ms. Callan Boston serve as Vice Chair of the Prince George's County Board of Education from December 3rd, 2012 through December 2nd, 2013. Ms. Jackson, please call the roll to elect Ms. Callan Boston as Vice Chair of the Prince George's County Board of Education from December 3rd, 2012 through December 2nd, 2013. Ms. Beck? Aye. Ms. Boston? Aye. Mr. Barrows? Aye. Ms. Epps? Aye. Ms. Eubanks? Aye. Ms. Fellows? Aye. Ms. Waller? Aye. Ms. Amid? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. Ms. Jacobs? Aye. Thank you. Motion passed. The result of the vote is 10 ayes. We will now have brief comments from our chair, our vice chair, board members, and then the superintendent. Thank you, Dr. Crawley. I actually yield to uh, my colleagues, and I will go last. I'd like to hear from them. Thank you very much. Ms. Boston. I just want to thank my uh, fellow board members for uh, trusting me with the position of vice chair. I will work very hard to fulfill the duties of that position. Uh, I will also work hard to build um, and focus on parent and community engagement uh, within our school system and to uh, make sure that we have uh, parent-friendly schools in all of our schools. Thank you. Hi, I'm really looking forward to working with all the board members and the new uh, vice chair and the chair. But as a student member of the board, it's my responsibility to represent over 124,000 students. And I'm really excited to look forward to this empowering leadership. But I really hope that in the future, the student member would be allowed to sit in an exact session and have more of a role because um, that's something that I could bring to the board. So I really hope that's something we can do. And other than that, I'm really excited and really looking forward to 
a, a new year. Thank you. Um, greetings and, and thank everyone for coming out this evening. Um, uh, as one of the newer school board members for District 7, I want to say congratulations to our new leadership. As I indicated, as we were in discussion, that our leadership is a reflection of the school board and that, um, um, that we ensure that these meetings that we have and our, um, our governance to you is open and transparent in all that we do. And so um, that is our allegiance, I believe, and that's our mantra. And again, congratulations to all of us, and I look forward to working with each one of my colleagues for our student achievement, which we all value. I would just like to extend the congratulations to the chair and vice chair for um, being elected to leadership at this time, and I look forward to working with all board members so that we can make sure and ensure that every student in Prince George's County has a quality and world-class education that will prepare them whether they go, want to go to college or start their careers in any genre that they choose. I believe that we have the talent and we have um, the love for all of the children in Prince George's County to deliver the kind of quality service that um, they absolutely deserve. And I look forward to being a part of that. Thank you. I just want to uh, first uh, thank my parents and family members uh, in the audience, uh, my siblings. Uh, love you all dearly. Um, but uh, and also I wanted to recognize Aisha Brayboy from the House of Delegates has, has joined us. Uh, thank you for your support coming here today. Um, and to my colleagues, I look forward to working with you all. You know, we have tough times ahead. We have to select the next superintendent. We have to preserve the structure of our board. Uh, but together, I know that we will accomplish uh, both those things. Um, because ultimately, we're here for the students. Uh, and as long as that's our goal, um, we will succeed. I would like to thank everyone who's here to support everyone here. We can do what we do because of people like you who hold up our arms. And we thank you for that. And we all work as a team to together for our children, whether they come from the higher end or the lower end. All of our children deserve our very best. And that is our aim as a board. We won't do everything that everyone likes because no matter who you are or where you are, you can't please any, everyone. But no, everyone here has a heart for the children of Prince George's County, and we are going to do our best and every day get better. Thank you. Um, colleagues, I want to thank you for um, nominating me and also voting for me to be the next chair for the next year. I am honored to have the opportunity to serve you again, and obviously the children of Prince George's County and our citizens. So well, here we are. I want to thank God for endurance and fortitude to never, ever give up. To the newest members of our board, Ms. Epps for District 1, Ms. Carletta Fellows for District 7, congratulations. I look forward to working with you. For our re-elected members, Mr. Burroughs, District 7, District 8, I'm sorry, and Ms. Patricia Eubanks, District 4, welcome back. I'm looking forward to the next year. I want to thank God again. I want to also thank my family, my husband David, my son David Micah, my mother, my dad, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, my nieces who are here, and my dear aunt who couldn't be here tonight my friends and my family who know me better than anybody else. I want to thank you for your prayers, your encouragement, and your absolute faith in me. Without you, I could not do this very difficult work. On a personal note, I also want to thank the collective team who supported my campaign. I want to thank the volunteers who devoted countless hours, commitment, loyalty, and I just want you to know that you went well beyond the call, and I want you to know I am grateful to you for that. To the Honorable County Executive Baker and the Honorable Members of the County Council, State Officials, Bowie City Officials, 
We know that in order for us to make a good county great, we have to do it together. And I commit to you on behalf of this Board of Education and myself that we will remain focused on our task, and that is one of reforming education in this county. We encourage, invite, and welcome the conversations, the discussions, of course, the funding that we need to move our education system to its desired and deserved place of excellence. Let me say that again. We can move our education to its desired and deserved place of excellence. And so we thank you all as well for your commitment to education reform. I want to make sure I thank staff who has committed their careers to our children. To the executive team and Dr. Crawley, thank you for stepping in when our system needed it the most. I want to thank all of you for your hard work. I also want to acknowledge the continuous improvement in test scores, the increased number of seniors meeting high school assessment graduations requirement to 88% for the class of 2012 for improving Prince George's County Public School passing rates by 24 percentage points in reading and 28 percentage points in math since the year 2004. We have made marked improvement in the six years that I've been on this board with a team that's willing to do the work, the hard work for kids. We have moved the needle in a positive direction for the children of this county. Fellow board members, it is with a humble heart and a deep sense of commitment to our children that I accept the challenge of this work for an additional term. Thank you. Some six years ago, I pledged to work on behalf of children to do what was in their interest and to make a difference, and I have tried to do my very best to do that. I plan to do even more with the opportunity that citizens of this county have given me. I am blessed. Thank you. I will work hard as a board member, I promise you that. I am just a woman from modest means, from a small town called Snow Hill, North Carolina, where there is no snow and there were no hills. But the reality is, I was raised by grandparents and parents who taught me that integrity matters. And let me tell you something. I would do absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing to take away from that. Citizens, this was a different campaign with a myriad of interest, certainly not all in the best interest of children, but that's the nature of the political framework in some respects. It is what it is. And so for the next several years, I pledge that I will continue to do my part as a member of this board, as a member of our county, to do what's in the best interest of our children to the best of my ability. Thank you for your continued support from this day forward. I hope that I can count on, I know you can count on me, and the commitment from all of our stakeholders, elected officials, businesses, faith-based community, and most importantly, the citizens and parents. There is always a challenge, colleagues, to us and for us, starting with myself. I would like to leave the divisiveness, the bitterness, that sometimes enters the fray of our very important work for children where it belongs, not in the boardroom. Colleagues, be aware that there are obstacles that will seek to take us off course and are not in the best interest of children, but I challenge us to stay focused stay focused and be assured that we really are all in this together. I challenge you, I challenge myself to use your will and your power. Use your will and your power to foster a positive culture for the sake of our children. That's my commitment to this county, that's my commitment to children, that is my commitment to this board. I am honored and I thank you. Thank you. As interim superintendent in the Prince George's County Public Schools, I would like to extend congratulations to our board chair and vice chair. I look forward to working with all of you to ensure that our students are college and career ready. As a school district, we continue to make steady gains we will continue to move forward. Our students will be successful. 
With your leadership, I am confident that we will continue to stay the course and further our efforts to ensure that Prince George's County Public School students are well prepared with the knowledge, skills, and behaviors to compete and successfully, successfully live in a global society. This is an exciting time for the school district, and I am very pleased to be a part of the movement. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Crawley. Um, colleagues, at this time, I would like to ask Mr. Henry Armwood if he would come forward. Um, Mr. Armwood, the board would like to um, take this opportunity to honor you for your service on the Board of Education from 2010 to 2012. Mr. Armwood, I want to say to you that I am honored to have had the opportunity to serve with you. I appreciate all the work that you've done for Prince George's County and on behalf of the Board of Education, thank you for your tireless efforts and unwavering support of students, staff, and constituents of Prince George's County. The foundation of reform in Prince George's County Public Schools is attributable to your dedication and commitment to improving education and ensuring equitable access to quality instruction for all students on this third day of December. 2012 respectfully I give this to you on behalf of the board and we certainly appreciate your service Colleagues, with that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you, Mr. Burrell. Second. Thank you, Ms. Eubanks. It's been properly moved. And second, that the Board of Education is adjourned. The Board of Education meeting at this time is adjourned. Thank you. There are refreshments in the back. <laughs>